to the stage. Give a big hand for Joe Recker. Ah, uh, boy, everything is so expensive, boy. You can't live the kind of life you want to live if you don't make some money. My aunt passed away down in Norfolk, Virginia. Her funeral was $11,000, 11 grand. And doctors are talking about black people are living longer. I guess so. We can't afford to die at these prices. <laughs> Our brother better hold on. $11,000? That's why black people don't commit suicide. <laughs> Cause if you want to kill yourself, you got to save up for it first. Ain't nobody got 11 grand laying around. She, she, got a, she got an insurance policy for $500. Walk into a funeral home with $500. They wouldn't put your hand in the dirt for $500. You couldn't lay away nobody for $500. Why don't you upgrade the policy? Yeah, 50 years ago, you could burn somebody for $500. Not today, upgrade the policy. She smoked Newport cigarettes and she drank Sprite. So at her funeral, her daughter put a can of Sprite and a pack of Newport cigarettes in a casket with her mama. I'm sitting in the back of the church going, this got to be the craziest mess I've seen in my life. They got her, here she laying the casket dead, and then they got her hand up like this, like, like she doing a commercial for Sprite and Newports. She looked like weakened and burning. She up there. Why would you bury your mama holding a can of Sprite and a pack of Newport cigarettes? And you know, and, and they didn't even, they didn't even bury the woman. I can't even make this stuff up. They didn't bury the woman. They cremated her. And the first Thanksgiving dinner, after she was cremated, her daughter brings her to the Thanksgiving dinner. Now, don't nobody want to say nothing to her, because, you know, she just lost her mama, and she's mourning over her mama, you know. You know, don't nobody want to say, look, uh, look, Wanda, uh, you know, we all sorry about your mama and everything, but, you know, we, we trying to have dinner here, you know, and, um, you know, you, you got your mama sitting on top of the table there, baby, you know, it's, you know, no disrespect, but, you know, she got her mama sitting there right by the salt and pepper shaker. Like she's a condiment. I thought the woman was some oregano. I like to sprinkle on my food. I'm like, look, Wanda, get your mama off the table, baby. A label or something. Somebody gonna think she an ashtray and it's gonna really be ashes to ashes. Get your mom off the table, baby. Put it in the sink. I don't know what you wanna do with it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man, everybody going back to school nowadays, right? That's the thing, go back to school. More education, more money. At least that's the way it's supposed to work, you know? Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to work, you know? I got a friend of mine who works for the airlines and she's taking a Spanish class because she wants to be bilingual. She was telling me, she said, you know, Joe, if you learn how to speak Spanish, you can make a lot of money. I'm like, well, Spanish people speak Spanish, and they can't make no money speaking it. Joe Reckon, his third week. Let's talk to Mr. Kevin Hart. Joe, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, man? Hey. It was, not only was it funny, man, but it seemed to me it was polished. The segues, the flow. It's like you, you were telling the story, and along that story, you had so many levels that it just kept going up and up and up, man. My, my favorite so far, man. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Paul Mooney. Funny. The dead black people, gray, <laughs> all funny, and uh, too bad you're black. Kim Coach. Oh my Joe God. Recker, once again, oh. you brought it. And you look kind of sexy this show. That yeah, you know, old shirt, school sexy, old school sexy. You know what I'm nice. saying? They weren't ready for this. I'll mess them up with this. I love it. <laughs> you messed me up. Oh, Shoot. We'll see you next time. Uh, I love Mooney. I mean, he's a genius comedian. So just to be performing in front of him, to have entertained him, you know, that was a privilege.